All right, Matt, UFC 244 coming at us this Saturday from MSG, Madison Square One Garden, card. New York, New York, United States. And listen, the first fight on our main card at lightweight, you've got the return of the Motown Phenom. Kevin Lee moving back down to 55, had a very unsuccessful and brief stint at 170, taking on Gregor the Gift Gillespie. Start the timer, Matt, because I'm very excited about this fight. I mean, these are two really well-known wrestle-heavy type of guys but I feel like one of them might possess kind of an extra added X factor that people might very well disagree with me here on it. But listen, I mean, Kevin Lee, he's been in the UFC since 2014. He's had 15 fights with the promotion, whereas Gregor Gillespie, he's only been with him for the past three years, and he's only has six fights to his name in the UFC. And I know, you know, Lee's ranked 10th, and like I said, he jumped up to 170. Gregor Gillespie ranked at 11. And Gregor Gillespie, a lot of people are counting on him as maybe... Not a savior to the division, but He's somebody that Kevin can, Lee. Yes, somebody that can continue to build up and ultimately get a title shot, fight Habib, and give him a really you know tough draw. What do you think of this matchup? I'm going to pump the brakes on all that jazz. So I think that Gregor Gillespie is a very similar fighter to Kevin Lee, but the difference is Gregor Gillespie is going to wrestle you, take you down, and control you. Kevin Lee is going to wrestle you, take you down, and try to take you back. So they're very different, but they both have that very similar wrestling. Now, the big difference is that you were kind of alluding to, Kevin Lee's a much better striker, much cleaner striker. He throws kicks. Gregor Gillespie, we haven't really seen throw many kicks, you know, other than like the inside leg click. So I do think that Kevin Lee's going to be able to uh, just keep the fight standing, outstrike him for the majority of it. The thing that worries me for Kevin Lee, though, is Gregor, Gregor Gillespie hits very, very hard. And we've seen that one of the weaknesses of Kevin Lee is his chin, unfortunately. And especially moving back down in weight, who knows how that's going to affect him. But it should be a great fight. I mean, Kevin Lee, you look at the stats that are on the sheet. 77 inches of reach versus 71 for Gregor Gillespie. That's going to play a major factor in there if distance manages management works well for Kevin Lee. And you look at it since the camp changed to TriStar full-time. Yes, Rory McDonald unsuccessful this past weekend, but still, you've got quality training partners. Nazareth Hackpress is one in this division that would work well, you know, to try and set up for Gregor Gillespie. So, Matt, as far as the odds are concerned, Gillespie the favorite here at about a minus 160, Kevin Lee plus 130. What's your official pick here? So we're going back and forth on this, and it it is very much a coin toss, so I can't really give you like, oh, this guy's definitely going to win, but I do think Kevin Lee's going to be able to pull this out, kind of get back on the winning streak. If you look at who he's lost to, they're all very different fighters than who Gregor Gillespie is, and he does very well against other grapplers because he normally just outgrapples them, uh, other than Tony Ferguson. And so. I mean, yeah, Kevin Lee, one and three in his last four, Gregor Gillespie, as you know, undefeated. I'm going to take Lee here as well. I think, like I said from the start, and I should have shouldn't have given it away, but that X factor, the fact that his striking is quite good but his grappling in general not just chain wrestling which is what Gregor Gillespie brings into it Kevin Lee is better at different areas than Gregor Gillespie yeah no exactly so Matt you agree with me here we're both taking Kevin Lee we're really looking forward to this this pay-per-view is awesome the card's awesome be sure to tune in for fighting picks two minute predictions here on YouTube let's get into it